So what little gem have you found this time? Go away. Jesus, Zoe! Chill out, Alfie. There's no point trying to hide your little pecker from me. It's not like I haven't seen it before. Nobody here, even if there is. Ooh, deep little tweaker's been in here. The only tweaker here is you. Someone's cranky today. Was it the little pecker comment? Because you can't exactly be angry at me for that. If I'm thinking it, it's because you're thinking it. So who do you think wrote this one? It's pretentious enough to be Michael. No, no, it's too broken for Michael. There's a certain anxiousness here. Someone who really feels lost. Ian. Yeah, this was definitely written by Ian. Then put his name by it and hurry up. You were supposed to check in over an hour ago. Don't you remember what happened last time you were late? Shit. What are the chances it'll be the same guy? You said that last time too. Hello, sorry, sorry, I'm late, sorry. Name? Uh, you, you know my name. Name? Alfie, Alfie Zimmer. Hmm. Right, Mr. Zimmer. You are in room 324. Is there a problem? Uh, I booked 190. Hmm. And you're over an hour late, so we've had to give that reservation away. Gave it, gave it away to who? There's hardly a stampede of people trying to book in right now. Sir, you need to calm down. A room is just a room. No. Room 190 is on the first floor, so requires the least amount of stair climbing. Room 190 is also the last room in the hallway, meaning there's only the chance of one noisy neighbour and not two. So, you see, a room is most certainly not a room. Mr Zimmer, what does my name badge say? You're not even important enough to have your name printed on it. Alfie, what's wrong? This little cockroach won't give me the room I booked. He is just doing his job. It's not his fault you're an hour late. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'd like to check in too, please. Excuse me. Really are fucking pathetic. Do you know that? You know, for a psychiatrist, your bedside manner really sucks. At least I don't let people push me around. Look, if you keep listening to damp squibs like Mary, no one will ever take you seriously. Well, I'd much rather be likened to her than you. Look, you'd find me a lot more supportive if you just stayed on your meds. Tell me you at least saw that little weasel smile. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Fucking awful. Finally! Something we can agree on. Come on. Yeah. Chop chop. Who are you talking to? When? When you came in. Uh. Oh, uh, just Michael. Why? Okay, good. 
Are you alright? You seem a bit shaken. Yeah, I'm just having some problems with my husband, that's all. Did he hurt you? No. No. Okay, good. But do you mind if I hang out here for a bit? Of course you can. Whatever you need. She needs to learn to keep her hands to herself. Do you mind, Rosie? We're trying to have a little privacy. Are you trying to test me? You'd be more threatening if you didn't keep your brains in your tits. He's mine! Ladies, you don't need to fight over me. That's a fucking enough. Alfie, are you serious with this right now? What? I mean, I know you have the tendency to go a bit overboard, but two women fighting over you. <laughs> I mean, please. You're not exactly the dashing Casanova type, are you? More like the all work, no play, murdery kind of guy. I don't think. Don't lie to me. How many times have you imagined jamming your keys into that clerk's throat? Everyone thinks shit like that about people who annoy them. I'm a good person. Is that why you carry a gun around with you? You know that's only meant for. Okay. Let's just say you have quite the overactive imagination sometimes. Which means, next time you want to rub one out, less of the kinky threesome shit. It's kind of gross. I mean, if you're going to create stories for us, at least make them plausible. Shut up. You know I don't like it when, when you... When I... When I what? Tell the truth. I'm fine to suffer your delusion. But not if it's going to turn into some low-budget porno. Zoe, give me the book back. No! You need to snap the fuck out of it! You used to know we weren't real, Alfie. No. No. You, you are real. You're my friends. We're just scribblings on a wall. You're the one who gave us voices. Personalities. Lives. Oh, here comes Florence fucking Nightingale. Sorry, give him a book back. No. Come on, Mary. He's one bad day away from redecorating this room. You've got to see that. What I see is a chance for all of us to make a difference. <laughs> is that right? And what? You're gonna cure him with kindness? When did that stop being the best way? The moment the truth became more important. Truth. Alfie, do you remember that one you found of mine? If you don't see the truth. You chastised me so hard because I discovered a patient was stealing medicine from me. I was about to go to the police when you made me realise that she was giving it to her ill mother. I realised that day that truth is relative. One person's truth is another person's lie. It's euphoric. Like a drug surging through my system. It's time you know about my addiction. Soliciting. Craving that which I could not have. Well, I'm so glad you two can share such a nice memory. But forgive me for not being so grateful. Every time you find one of these secret high transit graffiti bullshit that are remotely... You only see me as one thing. I never stood a chance at being more. Do you really think that's all I see you as? Zoe, you're the one who always has my back. I'd be lost without. That's definitely his number. Why is he calling so late? Hello, Mr. Devlin, sir. Is everything okay? No, no, pl please don't do that. Yeah, I, I know they offer low rates, but their product isn't as fresh. L look, let me just come see you, we'll talk this out. Well, that's because he was short last quarter. Not helping. I, I, I'm coming to see you right now, just just wait there. He's, he's trying to let me go. Well, don't just stand there. Go. I'll go with you. I think you're the last person that should be with him right now. Tell me. When everything went to shit for you, who did you prefer having there? The pity do-gooders, or the ones who'd lost even more? Fine. Al 
healthy, you really shouldn't be stopping. No, I can't help it. I always need a piss when I'm nervous. Okay, that's like the seventh time. Look, maybe you should just answer it. No, I'm over halfway there now. I just need to see him and then it'll be fine. Alfie, listen to me. He's your biggest client. You can't afford to lose him. Don't you think he knows that? Look, you just have to stay positive and confident. If you have to, you'll just have to lower your costs. But he barely makes anything from Devlin's as it is. Better to make less and still have him as a client than to make nothing at all. A travelling salesman with no one to sell to is a bit ridiculous. Maybe I should just tell him to shove it. You've never had a pair of balls in your life, Alf. No point growing some now. Look, I really think you should just pick up the phone. For once I actually agree with Sad Zack. The longer you don't answer, the more pissed he's gonna be. Okay. Okay. Hello, Mr. Devlin. Uh, sorry I didn't pick up, I was driving. I, w I, was, I was driving to come see you, like I said. Yeah, I, I know you didn't want me to come. What, what if I lower my rates? But it's not just business, this, this is my life. Hello. Mr. 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 De Mr. Devlin. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should just go back to the room. Put that gun in my mouth. Who can help you? You can't be in here. This is the men's. Why? No, Zoe is all the time. You're... you're different. Even after all this time, you're still trying to look out for me, huh? You help people. Yeah. And it looks like you need help right now. I don't know what to do, Mary. But we always do. Beat back the dark. We aren't owed life. It's earned through the decisions that we make. Let me tell you now, the sum of your life, Alfie Zimmer, is not giving up in some shitty bathroom. I hate to break up this little kumbaya, but this is hardly conducive to solving our little alfalfa situation now, is it? Oh, do you think what snide remarks are the way to go? Coming from the walking comfort blanket. He only read something that reminds him of you and to die he wants to play doctors and nurses. <laughs> What toxic masculine bullshit did he read to get you here? I'm just saying, he needs to figure out what to do on his own. Not put off reality by adding to a fake person's story. I'm not putting anything off. I hate to break it to you, Alfalfa, but that is exactly what you're doing. Is that your professional opinion? No, Mary. Because I'm not fucking real. Stop it. I write down everything that's interesting. Oh. You do, do you? Okay. Here we go. Poopy doopy, you so loopy. That's not interesting. Are you kidding? It's not only the most interesting one here, it's also the most fucking accurate. Enough, Michael. Is it? Because he still doesn't seem to get it. So obsessed with the people in his book that there's no room for anything real. That's the real reason you lost your job. Late, spaced out, missed deadlines. That's it, run away. But if you don't start listening to me, then...
Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I was just wondering if my room was available yet. I wasn't under the impression that I was meant to be switching you. Well, I just thought after how I had let it go earlier, you might have had a change of heart. There's really nothing I can do. Bullshit. I'm sorry, what was that? I said bullshit. You're just doing this to be a vindictive dickhead. So, if there was something I could- Cut the shit. That board behind you has all the available room keys hanging up. If room 190 was occupied, then that key wouldn't be there, would it? You wipe that wonky, crooked, fucking smile from your face. Maybe this will teach you not to be late in future. Don't let him get you down. If you'd have pushed him any more, I might have kicked you out altogether. So, just be grateful to have a place to lay your head. And me. Not now, Rosie. I'm not in the mood. Well. Getting you in the mood is exactly what I'm here for. Come and take a shower with me. It'll make you feel better. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I'd hate for you to miss out. I should have listened to you more. I shouldn't have been so involved with my own shit. How could I miss this? There's nothing you could have done. At least I'm safe now. Emma, what have you done? Why didn't you ask for help? You were the victim. We could have done something for you, got you away from him. But now, you killed your husband. Do you understand that? For some people, death is the only way to save them. Where is he? Where did you bury him? This needs to stop. Right now. Not until I find out where she buried him. She didn't kill him, Alfie. There is no him. Think, where would Emma hide a body? Listen to yourself. Well, if it's not Emma, how did it suddenly appear there? How do you know it suddenly did? What? Alfie, you've never been in this room before. It was covered by a scummy shower curtain and written small. Someone could have written that years ago. And what if they didn't? And even more reason to ignore it. Alfie, these aren't just harmless scribblings on a wall. Someone dangerous wrote that. Someone who killed a person. If you go looking for whoever wrote that message, you might not like who you find at the other end. Because I'm telling you now, it probably won't be some pretty little botanist. Botanist. I know exactly where Emma would have hidden the body. Please don't do 
do this. I'm trying to protect you. Listen to her, Alfa Romeo. Alfie, hunting a murderer is pretty terrifying. Look, I know what you're trying to do, but it won't work. I have to do this. And what happens when you find my husband? What then? Honestly, I don't know. But you can't just decide to take the law into your own hands. Whatever happens next, I will protect you, Emma. What? Are you going to try and stop me too? Oh, fuck no. I just want to come along for the ride. Alfie, why are we here? Emma's a botanist. She loves the outdoors and this piece of wood is the closest bit of greenery to the hotel. Come on. I'm scared. You have nothing to worry about. The kind of people at a rest stop at night in the woodlands are not exactly people I want to run into. If you didn't want to be here, then why did you come? Because I didn't want you to be alone. Because I want you to look at me the same way you look at Mary. Don't, don't do that. Keep close to me. And I thought there was nothing to worry about. There isn't. But just in case. Why did she do it? Why did she kill him? Love can make you do strange things. Not if it's right. Then it's pretty simple. Now what? You'll never love me, will you? Rosie. Well, because of that first fucking entry you found for me. My mother made me a whore. Where did you get that? Ever since then, that is all you have seen. Someone there just to scratch your various itches. You treat me like I'm unclean or damaged. Now? You want to do this now? Oh, okay. No, I thought I could help you. Protect you from what comes next, but you are just not worth it. And for the record, I didn't ask to be like this. That is all on you. Rosie. Wait. Rosie! 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 Rosie? All we wanted to do was keep you safe. Oh my god. No, stop! This ain't what we agreed. If we're going to save him, we can't do it with one hand tied behind our back. Not you two. It's time, Ian. What? The clerk? Why? Don't you remember? It was in your book all along. Remember the man with the crooked smile? I, I don't remember writing that one. The clerk. He was your husband. How did I miss this? Oh my god, Emma. What are we gonna do? Kind, sweet Alfie. He wanted so desperately to have someone to save, when, really, it was you who needed saving from your burden. Not my, but ours. Bound by unbreakable yarn. We're in this together.
am you, and you are me. It's the truth you fail to see. No, no, not you two. Enough. He's gone too far this time. Too far in your name. I have to get out of here. There's nowhere left to run, Alfie. You... You never call me by my name. You don't need to be scared, Alfie. Rosie, what is this? Is this about us? You what? Want to marry me? I have to get out of here. Come on. A part of you always knew it was me that was going to bring this to an end. Please. I did it. No. But we've been trying to tell you who did. Don't you see? The stories you created protected you from the truth. But did you never think it was odd? What was? The handwriting. The handwriting on each piece of graffiti you found was always exactly the same. Didn't you notice? Please, Rosie. Help me. We will do it again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> as sure as the sun rises. Enough. We're past placating him however much we want to. You took your time to come round. If you can't see the truth, who can help you? Look at it. Every entry in this book is there for a reason. It's a message. A message from the person you're hiding from. The person we were created to protect you from by hiding you in our stories. From the moment you found that graffiti of mine this morning, we knew today would be the day. Today. Together, joined as one. I am you, and you are me. It's the truth you fail to see. My mother made me a whore, soliciting, craving that which I could not have. It's time you know about my addiction. Remember the man with the crooked smile. I killed him. And I'm not sorry. Watching the life drain from his eyes was when I finally felt free. This is my confession. Not my, but ours. Bound by unbreakable yarn. We will do it again. 
and again ashore as the sun rises it's euphoric like a drug surging through your system who can help you nobody here even if there is if you don't see the truth all that you love will be carried away who is it you know who it is. You've always known. He's the one that taunted you from the beginning. The one who wrote the only entry you don't recognize. Remember the man with the crooked smile. How did he write this without me knowing? Ask him yourself. How? By saying his name. How do I find out what that is? You left yourself a way to find out when you created us. Alfie. What are our names? Zoe. Ian. Mary. Michael. Emma. Rosie. Zimmer. Well, it took you long enough. I thought when you kept missing time, you'd work it out, but you didn't. You just hid behind your friends. You killed the clerk. In my defense, he had it coming a long time before that. Why don't I remember? I guess only one of us can be in the driving seat. You wipe that wonky, crooked, fucking smile from your face. Sir? Is everything all right? Are you having a seizure? No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, uh... Look, about what I was saying earlier, So, I guess the only question left is which one of us gets the body? One of us has to have complete control. We can't continue like this. You are definitely right about that. Oh please, don't make this about me. You've had your finger on that trigger longer than I've existed. For some people, death is the only way to save them. I'm gonna see how strong you really are. I'm gonna count to ten. And whoever is in control then will get to keep the body. If you win, you can have complete control. I don't care. And if I don't, you what? Blow your brains out? Well, I'll actually stick to my word. I have a feeling you'll be too tempted to steal control and I can't allow that. You realise whoever finds our body will take a look at all those pages and think we're crazy. Maybe we are. You want people to think we left an insane suicide note. This isn't a suicide note. This is a confession. Not my, but ours. And what exactly are you gonna do, huh? What we always do, beat back the dark. We aren't owed life. It's earned by the decisions that we make. 
Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. Smile. 